Hey, what's up you guys? Mondo the Watch Guy here. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, feel free to subscribe. Now today we've got a very special unboxing, guys. It is the first of four AliExpress watches that I took advantage of at the last 11.11 sale, so the November 11th sale for 2020. And that was my second time taking advantage of the sale. It may very well be my last time taking advantage of the sale. We will see what time says. But for now, my current mindset is that, you know, I ended on a good note and today is the unboxing of the first of those four. So today we've got a watch that is very known. It's on a myth level status because of the specs that it offers for the money it's asking for. That watch is the Pagani Design PD1661. And that watch is a Rolex Mariner homage Bunch of people love this watch. They talk about this watch because of the sheer value that this watch offers and the specs that it offers for the money. So obviously it's it's lore at this point. Someone has made a joke about it. I can't remember who now, but they said, you know, if you haven't unboxed a Pagani design, are you even a watch YouTuber? Finally decided to pick one up. It was about time. There were actually two reasons why I didn't pick this watch up before. The first reason was the fact that it was a 43 millimeter case size. I think a 43 millimeter case for a Rolex Mariner homage. Maybe they're a little bit ahead of the curve. Maybe Rolex comes out with another Rolex Mariner and they make it 43 millimeters to really piss everyone off. But that is not the case with today's watch, the watch we will be unboxing because they recently made the change to 40 millimeter case size. So I think that's a major improvement and I said, awesome great reason to pick this watch up. The second reason I didn't pick this watch up uh, so long ago was because contrary to what I'm wearing on wrist right now, I don't like polished center links on Rolex and Mariner homages. This is the L'Oreal. We'll get into this once we do the wrist check, but the polished center links I never really liked. I, I don't really like them in general. I think they work on certain watches, but I think if you're doing a Rolex and Mariner homage, it's counterintuitive to do a polished center link bracelet. So, I actually reached out to Pagani Design to see if they were willing to swap out the polished center link bracelet for the brushed bracelet. And Pagani Design were nice enough to oblige my request. So they actually swapped out the bracelet from the polished center link bracelet to the all brushed bracelet. And that's awesome. So big shout out to Pagani Design. As a way to say thank you, I will leave a link in the description down below to the particular store where I purchased this watch from. And if you guys want to check it out, I'm not an affiliate. It's not an affiliate link. I get no money from it. I just put it down there if you guys want to purchase the watch in this video from the store that I purchased it. So yeah, that's a way of me saying thank you Pagani Design. And now guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and flip the camera around, get a look at this particular Rolex Mariner homage, the one that I have on my wrist right now. And then we will get into today's watch. Alrighty guys, now here is the Pagani Design, the box that the Pagani Design PD1661 comes in, as well as the silicone strap that I ordered on the side. As you guys can see, it's pretty nice. Pagani Design logo right there. So this strap will feature in future videos when I talk about straps and bracelets. I will show what it looks like on this particular watch, but it's not going to go on this particular watch for me guys. I only ordered it because I thought it would look good on another watch that I got and it only cost a few bucks more to get this instead of just the watch and like a SIM card removal tray and like all these other things that I didn't really need. So I figured why not get a another strap and the watch. So I'll put that to the side for now. And now before we get into the watch guys, I wanna show you guys what I'm rocking on wrist and it is the L'Oreo Submariner Homage. Now I got this last year at last year's AliExpress sale. Well, I say last year, but 2019. So I got this at the 2019 11 11 sale and we've come a long way since then. So this is what the watch looks like. It's on its stock polished center link bracelet. And I think it looks good. I, I liked it a lot more before I knew better. And I was like, you know what? The polish actually looks okay, but I would much rather prefer a brushed bracelet and that's what's in here. So Pagani Design were actually nice enough to replace the bracelet on this watch and send me 
the PD1661 on a brush bracelet. So shout out to Pagani Design for hooking me up with that. Now let's go ahead and get into this box. Standard Pagani Design logo, microfiber cloth, Pagani Design buckle, which came on the watch, Pagani Design guarantee card, not signed or anything. Put that face up in attack position. Pagani Design international guarantee. We'll put that here in attack position also. And here is the watch. Now right off the bat guys, the watch looks really really good. Clearly it's homaging the newer Submariners or rather the Super K Submariners from yesteryear. I think it looks pretty good overall. So I'll go ahead and take it out of the pillow. And we will get into more details. Inside are just the extra links that didn't fit my particular wrist. So here's the Pagani Design PD1661, guys. It's a watch that I've been considering buying for a really, really long time. And then finally on last year's 1111 sale, I thought, you know what, let's do it. It's on sale. They were nice enough to say, you know, they were going to swap out the bracelet for me for the brushed center link bracelet, which I think works so much better with this particular watch. Really nice brushing as well. And uh, we'll get more into the bracelet in a little bit. But really, really nice, really nice watch. Uh, we'll get some dimensions out of the way right now. So 40, pretty much 40 millimeter case, uh, which is really nice. They used to make the 43 millimeter version, which was the bigger version and the one everyone talked about for a really long time. They finally got around to dropping a 40 millimeter case and it's this one. So 40 millimeter case, 47 millimeter lug to lug. Pretty much 13 millimeters thick, 20 millimeter lugs, which tapered down to 15.4, and then back up to 18 at the clasp, which is a really nice clasp as well. You can call, you can say this is a machine clasp, very reminiscent to a Rolex, Rolex style clasp, not a Rolex clasp, a Rolex style clasp. Uh, exhibition case back showing off that Seiko NH35 movement right there, robust, reliable. 100 meters of water resistance with that display case back and screw down crown. So no 200 meters of water resistance, which is one of the pitfalls of this particular watch. I think if it were 200 meters water resistance, it would be even better. But other than that, you do get Sapphire Crystal, Sapphire Cyclops as well. You do get the date right there at the three o'clock. And overall, a really, really nice watch. You also get that EasyLink style system, which is really nice and should come in handy when you need just a little bit more space on your bracelet. When you don't want the extra space, you could just clip it on back. When you do want the extra space, you could just yank that out. Gives you a little bit of extra space right there. Let's go ahead and put that back, close this up. This is pretty much it. This is what the PD1661 looks like. So now guys, I'll stop handling it and I'll show you guys what this watch looks like on wrist. So that is pretty much what it looks like on wrist. I think it looks really, really good. Like I said, it's trying to homage the maxi case style Rolex Mariners of yesteryear. Uh, obviously the new ones are a little bit different at 40.5 or 41 millimeter case diameter and thinner lugs, like more inner lugs. And I think the new lug size is 21 millimeters on the new Rolexes, which is questionable to say the least. I'm surprised more people aren't actually complaining about the lug size of the new Rolexes, but I think that this is my favorite feature on this particular watch, funnily enough. I mean, I'm a big fan of the Rolex clasps and having that sort of counterweight on the underside of your wrist versus the top side of your wrist. I think I really, really like that and I'm a big fan of the styling as well as how it feels, how it fits, the easy link system. I think that that's a big feature on this watch and one of the best things about this watch. You do get some text on the dial as well, very much like the Rolex Submariner. So on this particular model, you get the Pagani Design logo, Pagani Design at the 12 o'clock. Underneath that, you get Explore. And then down at the six, you have Automatic, Water Resistant, 10 bar, 100 meters. So again, 100 meters of water resistance. Uh, you do get the screw down crown with the very nice Pagani design logo right there and exhibition case pack, which is why this has 100 meters of water resistance and not 200 meters of water resistance. Probably my biggest gripe on this watch. 
next to the loom. Before moving on to the loom and my final thoughts, I wanted to throw this on the rubber strap, so I'll go ahead and do that. Display case back showing off that Seiko NH35 movement. I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, let's go ahead and try this on the strap. And here is what the watch looks like on the silicone strap that comes with the watch or as an option if you want to purchase it, which I think is pretty decent, guys. I think it's a pretty decent strap. I notice a lot of people don't order the silicone strap option when it comes to Pagani design. I've never seen an unboxing where the reviewer also gets the silicone strap. So I did. I thought, why not? And I saw this strap and I thought that it could be implemented on another watch. And like I said, I will have a video pretty soon talking about straps and bracelets and this will feature then. But if you were curious, this is what it looks like on the strap. I think it looks pretty good. I think it works, uh, especially since it's a Rolex Mariner homage and the Mariner has been seen on different straps and things like that. So I think it works. I think it's good. But if you're going to get this watch, it really is for the bracelet but as an extra i think that this is not a bad way to go so yeah that's what it looks like on this strap option now guys let's go ahead and go on to the loom and now guys the loom on this watch the loom is not bad i think that this particular video is doing this watch a lot of favors i've never walked out of a brightly lit area and into a darker area and had the hands or indices glow as much as it's glowing right now that being said i have seen a lot worse loom on watches that cost more or less around the same price as this watch if not even a little bit more so it's definitely good for the money but if you're expecting great loom this is not the watch for that and now guys, this new fangled scoring system. So I want to give an initial score. Now this score is really for two reasons. One, so you guys can see my initial impression of the watch. So you guys can see more or less how I feel about the watch from the get go from the unboxing. And also so that in the future, if I ever do get around to reviewing the watches, you can see how much my love, my affinity, or my distaste for the watch has changed. And that's if I ever get around to reviewing these. So if I never get around to reviewing these, then at least you guys know how I feel about the watches from the beginning. So for this particular watch, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. And the reason for that is because I think that while you do get a lot of great specs on this watch, you get Sapphire Crystal Seiko NH35 movement, and really really nice overall construction there are a lot of good things about this particular watch but i think jody from just one more watch said it best where the money spent on this watch both in developing it and in purchasing it i think it's spread thin on this watch so yes you get solid links solid end links screw pins a machined rolex style clasp with an easy link flip-flop style system but the quality of these things are definitely not the best, right? I mean, it's nice to have these things for the money, but some of the quality is definitely lacking. And that's just because it's an affordable watch. You know, if it's an affordable watch, then it's nice to have these things for that cost. So if you're looking at it from that angle, then this watch is definitely worth it. I also think that the brand recognition is not very high on this watch. Really, the only people who are going to be looking at this watch are people who know about watches and people who have heard about the specs offered from this watch for the money. So it's not going to be that mass appeal like Casio or Seiko, etc. So it's definitely not going to be a watch that a lot of people get. You really have to know about watches to pick this watch up. So because of that, because it's not an established brand in that way, you know, it loses a few points. So 7.5 out of 10. So that's pretty much it guys. What did you think about this watch? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like. If you are excited for the next AliExpress unboxing, make sure to give this video a like. Favorite, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Instagram at MondoTheWatchGuy. Make sure to check out my giveaway video guys. We just crossed the 1300 subscriber threshold not that long ago. So we are even closer to giving away the first watch, which is an automatic watch. And I'm super excited about that. So if you guys want to know what I'm talking about, hit the annotation right here. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.